Ja, und damit sage ich wieder Hallo und herzlich Willkommen bei Telltales Batman. Wir gehen langsam aber sicher auf die letzte Episode zu. Und erfahren hoffentlich, wie das alles endet. Aber jetzt kümmern wir uns erstmal um Harvey. We need to talk. Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> Or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. Calm down, Dent. I just want to talk. Oh, really? Your guy like you seems like he doesn't do a whole lot of just talking. Ah, uh, funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little... beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported your campaign. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking around behind my back! Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. I don't care what your end goal was. Even one innocent life is too high a cost. Then you're thinking too small. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. What did you say about Gordon? Where is he? Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. If you want to save this city, this is how you have to do it. Gordon is on our side. He's fighting for Gotham too. I... Crime Alley. They took him to Crime Alley. <laughs> Na, da schauen wir mal, ob wir da noch rechtzeitig hinkommen. Wayne, huh? <lacht> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing... Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. 
I only told you. Dent knows, so someone you talked to told him. Hey, you know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution and martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend, but he's past saving. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. I don't believe that. Everyone can be saved. You said it yourself. He's trying to help Gotham. He's just lost. He's little more than lost. He's off the rails. I mean, you have to see that. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. You know your officers, Jim. Take the people you trust and start hobbling Dent's army. Get your precinct back. <laughs> you make it sound easy. No, it won't be. But if anyone can do it, it's you. You're trusted. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. Situation. I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. Here's a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Oh. Ich glaube, wir müssen uns erst um Pinguin kümmern, weil ohne die ganze Technik. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. <laughs> Turn around. Head for the elevator. I'm opening the doors. Now! <clears throat> opening the doors. Now! Whoa. Na komm, das war aber doch noch rechtzeitig. 
Dann probieren wir es eben nochmal. Also, beim zweiten Mal geht's doch besser. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless, you, you're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the Baron Deadman! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. That's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What, because of all those fancy gadgets? You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wayne, was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time trying to hack into Wayne technology when we can own it? Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Oh. Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy-eared costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. Und das kann er doch gerne haben. My turn. It's almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, all your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Mm. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! Na, schauen wir mal. Noch sind wir nicht am Ende. This is the start of a new legacy. And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. Ja, 
Der er grøn. Zweimal grün. It didn't have to be like this, Oswald. You should have given up when you had the chance. Give up! Oh, I've already won. Now you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed! Tell me where to find her. Piss off! I'm not telling you anything. Tell me! I won't tell you. Do your worst. Und dann werden wir das hier mal unterbrechen. Und dann müssen wir mal wieder selber rausfinden, worum es geht. So wie fast immer. What the? Just cut me down, mate. I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them, Wayne, put up a fight. <laughs> ja, und damit sind wir dann auch am Ende von Episode 4. Eine Baustelle hätten wir schon mal, das war der Pinguin. Mindestens zwei haben wir noch offen. Da geht's dann hoffentlich in der fünften Episode auf ein Ende zu, das in unserem Sinne ist. Dann schauen wir mal, wie wir mit unseren Entscheidungen da standen. Dem Joker ein Gefallen versprechen, 50-50, habe ich mir fast gedacht. Aber wir sind bei der Mehrheit dabei. Ähm... Und hier hätte ich auch 50-50 erwartet, das wären eigentlich beides Möglichkeiten gewesen, aber auch hier haben wir uns auf unser Image und unser Geld verlassen, wie die Mehrheit der anderen Spieler. Genau dasselbe gilt hier, 50-50 Entscheidung. Da war es aber dann doch wieder so, dass es tatsächlich 50-50 ausgegangen ist. Ja, auch hier alles eigentlich relativ ausgeglichen war. War so ein Kapitel, wo es keines, keine eindeutige, keine eindeutige Richtung gibt oder gab. Ich denke, dass bei jeder Entscheidung hätten beide Wege zum Ziele geführt. Aber ja, im Großen und Ganzen denke ich, ist ganz gut gelaufen. Und ja, wir schauen jetzt mal, wie es dann in der letzten Episode, Episode 5, weitergeht und wie es zu Ende geht. Ich bin gespannt. Ich sage danke fürs Zuschauen und ja, ich hoffe, wir sehen uns in der nächsten Episode wieder. Und bis dahin, ciao, ciao.